All right. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, basically all we're simply going to do is replace, the, our imp, replace our input value into our function and exactly in for our rule. So if we want to evaluate for f of negative 2, if we're going to change our input value from x to negative 2, then in our rule, we're basically going to replace every single time we see an x with our value negative 2. So it's going to be 3 times negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 plus 2. Negative 2 squared is, is 4. 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Negative 4 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 8, and then plus 2. Therefore, we can say f of negative 2 is going to equal 22. Input is negative 2. Output is 22. Okay, I'm going to stress this because it's going to become very important here um, coming up. To do f of 0, we just apply basically the, the same technique again. 3 times 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 2. Well, 0 squared is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. Negative 4 times 0 is going to be 0, and then plus 2. Input, output, input, output. And we'll do the last one. 3 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 squared, wait a minute, that's positive 1. Thank you. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and then plus 2. So therefore, that's going to equal a positive 1. Input, output, input, output. Yes, question? The original problem was f of 1. I didn't change it there. But I wanted you to do f of 1. Anybody have any questions on that? It's pretty simple. That should be very much review. It's on your summer packet. Um, but that really wasn't the hard one in the summer packet. The one that gets most students mixed